I'm Kevin Shaw, Editor-in-Chief of Mopar Connection Magazine, and today we got to sneak in a quick visit to Reed Machine and Rocker Arms in Lake Elsinore, California, just a couple days before Christmas. Started in 2005, Reed Machine developed some of the most durable, exactingly correct rocker arms for top fuel blown alcohol, injected fuel, and pro mod drag racers today. And it's easy to understand why. When you're operating at these levels, the slightest flaw in design can result in catastrophic failure. So each of Reed's rockers are made with a degree of precision not found in other one-size-fits-all assemblies offered by others. When you're making over a thousand horsepower per cylinder, your engine's life depends on whether your valve assemblies can withstand those kinds of extremely high cylinder pressures. Not only do they need to operate successfully under unimaginable conditions, but remain stable and stiff enough to maintain valve control. Weakness in the design or material could cascade an engine into oblivion. Over the last 16 years, many of the sport's most successful drag racers have depended on Reed Machine to do exactly that, and have not only survived, but broke class records using Reed rocker arms. Prior to launching his own venue, Daryl Reed worked for John Force Racing as a team machinist. I got to sit down with Daryl Reed for an hour and learn a bit of his story. From a young aircraft machinist to engineering and developing parts for trophy trucks and off-road to top fuel dragsters and beyond. After spending years repairing and remachining other brands' rocker arms for customers, Daryl found an opportunity to fully CNC machine his own rockers using his skills and techniques learned over the decades. Gifted with a desire for problem solving and incredibly high standards, Daryl's approach to each customer is to provide them a solution that is unique to their application, but also exact for their needs. He said, nothing that we do here is one size fits all. Sure, we can make adaptations here and there with existing products that we've developed, but nothing is cookie cutter, he explained. Using advanced 3D scanning equipment and state-of-the-art CAD software, Reed Machine is also able to accommodate various types of cylinder heads, adjusting for different valve tip locations and valve lengths to assure that each rocker arm will deliver optimized performance every single time. Each intake and exhaust rocker begins as solid billet 4340 chromoly steel, but after literally tens of thousands of hand inputted lines of operation code into the CNC machines, each rocker arm ends the same. An originally designed American made rocker featuring I beam construction for minimum deflection that's been heat treated to resist fatigue without brittleness, with push rod oiling through the adjusting screw. Due to the competitive nature of professional drag racing and the potential for an intellectual theft, Daryl was careful about what we could film and what we couldn't. He was more than happy to show us what he was working on for his customers, many of whom have names that you'll recognize, but understandably, we weren't allowed to show how the sausage was made. Even with a few days just before the Christmas holiday, Reed Machine was buzzing with multi-axis CNC machines warring through their programs, whittling away layers of billet steel, carving away to reveal beautiful pieces of engine components, that soon would be spinning at tens of thousands of revolutions per minute just for a few seconds at a time. Our visit was a treat, but also had other implications. Earlier in the year, Daryl Reed had voiced interest in developing valve train assemblies for high-performing street application engines. Daryl had joked with us, quote, a lot of my customers own very nice car collections, many of which include Hemi-powered Mopars. I've been kicking around the idea of adapting our designs to fit factory-style cylinder heads for a while now. With that, Mopar Connection Magazine provided Reed Machine with one of our Edelbrock Victor Jr. aluminum 426 cylinder heads, and Daryl was off and running. Currently, Reed is securing an entirely new scanning system that he's excited to use on the Edelbrock head. This, with new equipment, will streamline how Reed creates new designs and is able to mate components moving forward, and not just for the second generation Hemi head, but for several new products that he's got on the horizon. Sure, the stock replacement valve train works for stock performing engines, but for those looking for more accurate valve train, 
what we've seen come out of Reed Machine is second to none. If you haven't already, go check out what Daryl Reed and his team at Reed Machine does at www.readmachine.com. And since we're working together on developing a set of valve train for us civilian Hemi enthusiasts, expect plenty of news and updates on their progress in the coming year here at Mopar Connection Magazine. We've been incredibly encouraged with the aftermarket support that has sprung up over the last decade or more for the legendary 426 Hemi engine. For many Mopar enthusiasts, owning a Hemi, especially building one worthy of the legacy surrounding it on a family guy's budget, was all but impossible. The sort of stuff that was just outpriced thanks to auction houses or hoarded up by big dollar collectors. Thankfully, with half a dozen options for aftermarket Hemi engine blocks, be it iron or aluminum, and a handful of cylinder head manufacturers, putting together your own rip-snorting elephant engine really has never been easier. And now that we've got top-tier performance brands like Reed Machine pouring time and money into developing valve train for street and strip applications, big pachyderm power is right at your fingertips. Until then, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, leave a comment, and share this video with your friends. It'll really help us grow the channel. And if you want more awesome Mopar content, please visit us over at www.moparconnectionmagazine.com where new articles are written and published every single day, Monday through Friday, entirely subscription-free to you. We'll see you there.